Hello students, in this video we are going to solve this problem from trigonometry. The sides of a right angled triangle PQR are PQ is equal to 7, PR is equal to 25 and angle Q is 90 degrees given. We need to find tan P minus tan R. What is given to us? Two sides and one angle. Okay, so let us draw a right angle triangle. So this is our right angle triangle. Angle Q is 90. So obviously this is 90 degrees. So this is Q. And we can take P here or P here. It is up to us, right? So we can take P here, P here or R here or there. So we are going to take it like this. P and R. So PR is 25 given. So which means hypotenuse is 25 centimeters and PQ is 7. So this base PQ is 7 given. Okay. We need to find tan P minus tan R. Okay. We need to find the third side also. How should we do that? When two sides are given in a right angle triangle, how should we find the third side using Pythagoras theorem? Okay. So if you apply Pythagoras theorem to this triangle, PR square will be equal to RQ square plus QP square. So PR square is 25 square equal to, we don't know this perpendicular, right? RQ square plus this is 7. So this is 7 square. 25 square, we know it is 625 equal to RQ square plus 7 square is how much? 49. So this 49 goes on the other side, becomes minus. Okay. So this is 576. You subtract this, 576 will come. So this is RQ square. Square goes on the other side, becomes root 576. It will be plus minus root, but QR is side, right? So we are taking only plus sign. This will be 24. Hence, RQ is 24. So this is 24 centimeters now, okay? We need to find tan P minus tan R. What is tan formula? I told you to remember this, right? Sin, cos, tan, cosecant, secant, cot. Old hero and his old acting. So tan is O by A, opposite by adjacent. Okay. So we are finding tan p now angle here is p so this will work right so for angle p opposite is 24 adjacent is 7 we need opposite and adjacent okay so tan p is equal to opposite divided by adjacent opposite is how much 24 adjacent is 7 so this is 24 divided by 7 okay this is done we need to find tan r also now okay all right so what i am going to do is i am going to rub this because for angle r will the sides will be different right so now let us consider ang angle r so to this angle r 7 will be the opposite side opposite to r is 7 so this 7 will be the opposite side let me write it properly this is the opposite side and 24 will be the adjacent side okay so tan r tan or tan formula will not change it will be opposite by adjacent so opposite divided by adjacent is what now opposite is 7 adjacent is 24 okay i hope you understood this how we got tan p and tan r okay now we need to find what tan p minus tan r tan p minus tan r so let us substitute the values tan p is 24 by 7 tan r is 7 by 24 denominators are different we need to multiply the denominators 
and cross multiply this number so this is 24 multiplied by 24 minus 7 multiplied by 7 24 24 is 576 minus 7 7 is 49 divided by 24 into 7 so 24 multiplied by 7 28 14 116 so this is 168 how much will this be 576 minus 49 576 minus 49 16 minus 9 is 7 so here we'll have 6 2 5 so we got 527 divided by 168 so this is the final answer okay how we found tan p and tan r see these are different one is angle p one is angle r okay so i hope you understood this problem it got a little messier, right? Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next video.